Today we're going to take you on a journey through time. And we're on our way to the South African Museum. It's 30 rand entrance to the museum. It's 40 rand entrance included with the planetarium show, which you're going to go check out a bit later. It's going to be Haven't done that since school. When one starts a history tour, one should start at the beginning. So we come through and see the exhibit of the power of rock art. I remember as a kid running through these areas because they were so dark and scary. But um, now as an adult you realize there's so much information. Um, you could spend hours just reading up about each and every individual piece. Do you remember this goat? Yeah. Go up to the glass and sometimes I used to tap it because I was convinced that it was real. China may have had terracotta guys long before we did in Africa, but we definitely had our own long before European influence. It's the longhorn buffalo. It's been extinct for like 12,000 years, but we got one. Um, off the Cape of Good Hope between January and April. Cool. Hey, hey, should we go fishing? <laughs> Catch and release, of course. The Patagonian fruit fish. very, very likely get to see these guys. In case you were wondering, those are actually real whale bones that have obviously been treated to protect them from the air. Blue whale, and a sperm whale, and a humpback whale. What are you standing in? A megalodon. Give me a look like I'm way out of bounds. Well, you let out one of your board sides. Well, lately when I'm This guy hanging over here, that's a bronze whaler, which in the Cape area here is often mistaken for a small great white. But it's actually a completely different shark. I'm going down, 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 down. I'm going down, down, down. Eland, the largest antelope in the world. So I know what you're thinking. These guys are all dead and they're stuffed and they're not animated. But I can tell you one thing. If you go on safari, you'll be lucky to just see a handful of them. And then you'll be sitting in your car looking through your window at them in the distance, which is great because you see them in their natural habitat and alive. But at least here you get to see really up close and personal the variety of animals and also the actual size. To stand in front of a kudu or an elant or an elephant this close, that is a real one. The magnitude and scale you can't get anywhere else. These guys you might get to see up close and personal at Cape Point, literally on your windscreen of your car. I'm sick and tired of you setting me up. Setting me up but just a knock a knock a knock on me down 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 I'm going down 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 I'm going down 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 I'm going down 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 
Something a lot of people don't know is that this museum, which is almost 200 years old soon, has got a vast, vast collection, which obviously can't all be displayed. So what they do is they change the exhibitions every now and again. So it gives you a reason to keep coming back to see what's on display now. Now, baby, but when we kiss, I can feel a doubt. I remember back when we started, my kisses used to turn you inside out. I used to drive you to I'm work young in to the morning. A Friday night, I drive you all around. You might have noticed that there's a lot of clanking and knocking and hammering going on. That's because uh, part of the museum is actually under construction. And um, we've just been told by two of the archaeologists, paleontologists working in the, what they call the fish tank, oh, sorry, uh, that there will be a whole new range of exhibitions coming up soon, um, between now and next year sometimes. The dinosaurs are definitely the highlight for us. We underestimated how much there is to see at the museum. So we're going to take a quick lunch break and go over to the Company Gardens uh, coffee shop. In case you were wondering, that is where we are in the Company Gardens um, to grab a quick bite to eat and a coffee. Well, while we're doing all the history, the Company Gardens is called the Company Gardens because of the VOC, the Verenigste Ostindische Company, which is the old original company that Jan van Riebeck, the first settler of Cape Town, came to. I used to drive you to work in the morning. Friday night, I drive you all around. We realized that we lost a lot of time because that place is a lot bigger than you expect. So we had to grab a takeaway coffee. And we got to make our way back because we've got a show at the planetarium in 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm going down, I'm going down, 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 I'm going down. Right, the planetarium has a daily show at 2 o'clock. There are also other time slots and there are also other types of shows. So you must go check it out what's available. We're going to go watch a show called 15 million BC. 15 billion? 15 billion. That's even, even better. The black hole of life. The one that takes your money. And away it goes. And we have a 50 cent coin. Oh, Who's going to make it first? Kiss, I can feel a doubt. I remember that when we started. My kisses used to turn you inside out. Oh, you see the lights and the stars everywhere. Are you filming me? <laughs> <laughs> I drive you all around. You used to love to drive me wild, yeah. Wow, but lately, girl, you get your kicks from just driving me down, down. There is absolutely no way I can give you the scale of this dome that we're standing in. It's quite spectacular. I'm going to have to switch cameras off in here. Um, the only thing we can say is come and do it yourself. Hello, and welcome to our planetarium. In a few minutes, we will be putting our sophisticated star projector into action. Yeah, that was really fantastic. The planetarium was something we couldn't really show you, but it was really, really cool. The dinosaur exhibit um, is busy being rotated, so one should come more often to the museum so you can see the various different types um, of dinosaurs that they will have on display. There's been massive changes and I think it's fantastic. Definitely something that I suggest that people should come to see. There's some things we haven't shown you, like the you know the reptile section, the bird section and that. So there's still a lot more to see. Don't just rely on this video, get out and do it. The museum needs your support. Go and do it. Mm -hmm.